Firstly, I would like to say, oh, sorry, I am not to be able to be with you, among you, among us, for this exhibition entitled Try It Out Works. This exhibition gathers a collection of fragments of our emotional fabric, as well as those of our feelings. The paintings could be seen as observations of extracts from the letter's DNA, all the while studying uh, its writing or quite possibly its rewriting uh, process. They show and convey the determined as well as the undetermined part of what we are for one another as a story. Also, what is being hatched um, as being woven or intertwined tight woolly or on particular places through the organic thread or threads of emotion and sentiment. Emotion is transient, uh, whereas feeling sitters and moves in a long run temporality. The paintings are testament to the history of these elements. Um, and this exhibition is the first part of the tried artworks. If I should tell you about my work, I would say that through my pictorial writing, I weave the thread of my thoughts like a conducting wire of my currents, my emotions, my feelings. This thread is formed and distorted along with the impulses and shocks of my nerve endings, my sensory endings. It is an indicator, a cerebral barometer of the brain as well as the heart. Oscillating, it tells on the screen, the canvas, what is really happening. From there, the thread becomes a junction like a staple between my relationship to mankind, my relationship to life and everything that surrounds me, that external reality of which I am a part. It is precisely what I paint. It is scripture, color, shape, matter, stitching thread, connections and melded liaisons between my inner and our outer world. Mended and patched up world where we are stuck and graft some lukewarm happiness so as to conceal and make us forget what it has that is bleak and grey, too bleak and grey, too dark and black, too white. Hence the theme which is at the core of my work, the stitch of the world. The thread acts as a representation of the badly healed wounds of a world which once was ours. Uh, become it became someone else's and then mine. These wounds are helped and supported by their seam, their gap and closure. In this stitch-up world, I saw back my interwoven reflections on the human condition, life, the law of equation, uh, which become produced as themes within the theme. I treat this both as well and separately and pictorial elements, uh, tea dotted lines, for example, originating from and symbolizing the stitch of the world. From the idea that painting arises out of time, I tell through my work what was or is lived, uh, so that it never fades away, so that some part of me of us does not fade away with it, uh, does not slip out of my hands, don't vanish into thin hair. Maybe I'm trying to remove myself from it or remove a part which it can never take away then. Uh, on life is thread expressions of being in the world are suspended. What happens is a part of time within us and or around us, be it for a split second, a, a brief moment or be counted in days, months or years. My heart endeavors to express, translate whatever uh, from life arises into ours and reciprocally. Thus, that which comes from a reality and the sensation does not come across nor develop itself through speech. The painting gives a shape as well as it does an order. What stands there uh, within us uh, recognizes itself in the painting. The reflections we face indicate that one cannot times only see to hear oneself. My painting, um, my work, uh, would thus be a place where whatever exists, wherever one finds one's existence, 
is the experience of the inexpressible, the unspeakable. Uh, through then, I, I make it visible of sense being made of an outline, a shape to the unformulated. My paintings are suggestions of three fields in the shape of a particle, a fragment, a whole. However, if I had to retain something, uh, it is that I paint what lang language does not enable me to say. Thus, unless this being inherent to that, the network congestions in my mind and my heart are more generally that of the mind and heart, even if both probably often merge into one. Eventually, I can say that one paints time, for each painting is a mark, uh, that of a passage, where life decides to drop a bit of itself. This temporal mark holds in its core the feeling, the emotional and or cerebral charge left behind.